today's show, we will break down where things sit currently for the Dallas Cowboys depth chart and some need conversation as well, because, well, they haven't done much, but they have lost quite a few things. So I am very curious to see uh, how that all ends up playing out. Now, I am asking you guys to share today's video for me. Help keep your friends in the loop for what's going on. And if they got questions on how this roster sits, we've got you covered. Share today's video for me right now. Let's begin at quarterback with where things sit. And I'm going to put for now Cooper Rush at CB2 over Trey Lance. Make no mistake, this team wants it to be Trey Lance. And that will be a must-watch training camp battle. They want Lance to win that quarterback two job. Maybe they add an undrafted free agent. I don't anticipate many changes here uh, for the Dallas Cowboys in the quarterback room. It's, it's Dak. We'll see if they do some ridiculous August extension and then see what Lance can do come preseason time. He is going to get so many of those reps because he needs them. Over to the running back room, and this will change post-draft. Otherwise, it'll be kind of crazy there. Uh, as of right now, we'll go more into the thing. It's Rico Daddle is RB1. More on him in a moment. Deuce Vaughn, Malik Davis, fullback, running back, Kyber Hunter Lipke, and Snoop Connor. It's not exactly a strong running back room. They need help here. I don't think you want to enter week one with it's Rico Daddle as our lead back. I thought he did some nice things for you. I am fine to keep him on this roster. The depth and versatility provides, you know, special teams helps. It does. There's value there. He's also super cheap and also not guaranteed a roster spot with about $200,000 in guarantees. So this team is not done adjusting the running back room. I would fully expect they draft somebody. Probably not round one, but pretty early. What round do you think the Cowboys will take a running back this year? It is the pinned comment on today's video. So if the ad comes here on YouTube, take advantage of it. Ignore the ad. Go vote instead what round you think the Cowboys draft a back. Over to wide receiver here. C.D. Lamb is not going anywhere. Brandon Cooks is back as your receiver too. Then it's a bit uncertain. Do you trust Jalen Tolbert as your wide receiver three? You will see me say this type of line a lot. I would like to find an upgrade. There's a lot of spots, though, that I would like to find an upgrade and not enough picks to actually do all of those things. So maybe there's not major changes here. Maybe they do give Tolbert first crack at receiver three, and they see if, you know, Kevante Turpin, Jalen Brooks, even a Jalen Cropper can emerge as some depth, some added ability right there. Gallup's gone. I, I would like to find somebody, but I'm also, for receiver, it's like, I have bodies. I would like a upgrade, an impact guy, and not just a guy. The tight end room, I don't think is going to see many, if any, changes. You've, you've, you've got a good enough core here. Jake Ferguson played really well for Dallas last year. He's going to be a long-term piece. Luke Schoonmaker, they spent a second pick on him. Need him to do more. And I think you'll see Peyton Hendershot, John Stevens coming off the injury, uh, trying to fight for that tight end three role. I think this team is in good shape, and given all your other needs, I don't know why you draft tight end. I don't expect much changes here. Maybe probably a UDFA gets gets mixed in there, but we shall see. Now we will talk plenty of draft stuff here. The NFL draft hats for the Dallas Cowboys are out as well. Chatsports.com slash Cowboys draft hat. That link will be in the comment section and the description of today's show. Several styles. It's, it's the fitted and snapback flat brim and just the more rounded cap ball cap, which fits some people better than others, by the way. Not everyone can pull it off. Like, I don't think I look great in a flat bill cap. I think Chris looks pretty good in a flat bill cap. Like, I just, it's just different for different. You don't, you don't think so? You're not a fan of it? Okay, never mind then. Uh, I, I went through a phase where I was rocking the flat bill. And I just, I just, I just, I don't, I think I look too much like a, a dork doing it. So, Plus, I like to golf, so I, I like to round of bills. Anyway, charcoal and blue are the colors available. Links in the comments section and the description of today's show. Chatsports.com slash Cowboys Draft Hat. Links in the comments and the description of today's show. Offensive line should change here. 
I am putting this in the, if the season started now, these are your best five players. It, it's Tyler Smith left tackle, Bass left guard, Brock Hoffman at center, right guard at Zach Martin, right tackle uh, at, is Terrence Steele. I, you need to get some more help here because your backups are awesome, Richards and Matt Bletsko. Like, you have to get more depth at minimum. I, I, I can live with one of TJ Bass and Brock Hoffman starting. I can live with one of those guys doing it. Both of them, I get anxious. So that's Tyler's left tackle, left guard, will be determined through the draft. If they go tackle round one, great. He is your left guard. Um, if they go center or guard round one, he's probably going to be your le left tackle. But you have to get more help here on the offensive line. You know, it's, it, you, you can't trust, well, let, well, well, let's go, Rich. They haven't played anything. So, and I, I would feel better if Hoffman were like your seventh and eighth offensive lineman or sixth and seventh, but they can't be your fourth and fifth with not much else behind them either. So will the Cowboys draft offensive line in round one? Y for yes, N for no. Be honest with me in the comment section. And I made the comment during free agency of like, I don't know how this team is going to upgrade a defensive tackle, and I still don't. Osa Odigizua, Mozzie Smith, Chauncey Golston, Carl Davis, who wasn't good last year and is older and had the upside that of like, you know, Mozzie can get better type of deal, right? I'm anxious here. Like, I, I need, I, 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 I want to double dip at, at defensive tackle. I want to take one top 100 and one outside top 100. I want to do that at offensive line. But though there are two of my first top 150 picks off the board. I've only got a few others after that. I, 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 I wonder if this is going to be a, we're going to sign three or four UDFAs at defensive tackle. And that, mm, that scares me. Biggest need left for the Cowboys. Take a pick, right? There's too many needs to fill. Sound off in the comments section right now. Remember what I said about like receiver? Like I, I, I need to get another body here. Pass rusher. Micah Parsons, Tank Lawrence, set for those first guys, right? Sam Williams, Junior Fehoko, draft picks, flashes at times. Fehoko basically didn't play. Ah, you lost two of your top rotation pieces. Can I, this is where I would have loved to sign a one-year, $3 million bet. That's what I would have liked to have done. And as of filming on our live show Monday, they haven't yet. Are they going to? Or are they going to maybe revisit after the draft, potentially? The Cowboys linebacker depth chart breaks down like this. Uh, Eric Kendricks is here, and that is a good thing because they need to do something for this organization at the position. More on him in a little bit. Demarvian Overshown, Damone Clark. Again, I need bodies here. And I don't like this idea of, you know what? We'll have five UDFAs make the roster. Like, that's it. I, I, I just, I don't, ugh, I'm anxious here, guys. I like the signing of Kendricks. I, I was glad. They did something about that. I, I oh, that, that is, that is, that is it, the one positive thing they've done, right? But I still need more depth. Like, I'm, I'm thin still because I assume it's a little bit. Marquis Bell is going to go play safety. If the Cowboys make a move, we will have a video for you. Or at least we'll have draft videos at minimum since they have to make some picks. Hit that sub button right now, youtube.com slash Cowboys TV. I would like to find a young corner and get a, a developmental piece that like, in the, in, you know, can help me out in, I think, a pretty solid corner class. I don't know if I have the, the assets here. You got, you got starters, Diggs, Blandon, Lewis. Is Mukwamu a piece at corner or safety? Is Eric Scott going to have a breakout second year? Maybe. I just, oof. Again, it's Zimmer loves corners. I would love to give Mike Zimmer a corner that he can develop. I might have to pass on that spot. I, I really might. Safety. Lee Cooker, Donovan Wilson, uh, Wanye Thomas, Marquis Spell, Israel Mukwamu. This falls into the if a dude is available, like a stud, I'm in. Sure, let's do it. 
I doubt there will be one timing wise, and I don't want to spend just I don't like a seventh round pick at safety. I have guys that can do that already. It kind of falls into the big upgrade, or you know what, you're fine in the end. So Madden style, rate the Dallas Cowboys roster for me. Scale of one to one hundred in the comment section. One, of course, on the low end. Hundred on the high end. The special teams depth chart sits up like this. We will eventually get a non-USFL photo of Brandon Aubrey. I know it's going to happen. Uh, shout out ESPN for never updating it. Um, no real changes here. Aubrey, Anger, Sig, all back. Cheap one-year deals. They probably bring somebody in to at least like make life easy on Anger, maybe like pre-camp-wise. Pre but you know they're they're fine on special teams overall. 